Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm in a giant mess. If you could just see it, you'd love it. <laughs> I've been working on the um, sewing thing, the file folder, all day. So um, I'm going to do this, and then I'll show you what I've done. So basically, I'm making a very large um, journaling card. And this is just a manila file folder that's been coffee dyed. And then I just have all kinds of... Um, like fabric instructions or sorry sewing instructions the pockets this is the back of the pockets you know these um and then like this little lady and uh rick rack packaging you know that wraps around the rick rack when you pull it out of the plastic these are old vintage ones so anyway that's what i was going to do and i just kind of wanted to tackle that since i had it all right here and then i'll show you the rest of the folder I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. It's pretty nice around here. Hi everybody, sorry about that. That was my sister. My wonderful sister. So, uh, I stopped for a bit to talk to her. So anyway, what I'm doing is collaging this whole file folder real quick and then I'll show you what else I have done on that, the rest of the file folder. And I decided the inside of the journal, I'm just going to do the, and I'm hanging this over, I'll, I'll trim it, um, the tea towel instead of the patchwork of fabric. Or I just think these uh, fabrics are a bit bright, and I think it would kind of just get too busy and bleh, so I'm not, I don't want to do that. So I will use the fabric inside, just not for that whole inside cover. But thank you everybody who commented that was awesome it's nice to get help sometimes because you know you just get stuck sometimes and don't know what to do uh, so anyway so just getting this on here i'm gonna go ahead and trim around that because it's sticky so i can get rid of it I shouldn't have put glue all over it, but I wasn't sure how far up I was going to put it. It's always tricky going around these tabs. You'd think it would be super simple, but it's not. Uh, I got the itchy nose. We went to the our fair yesterday and saw our kids' stuff in the fair, and they did very well. My daughter made a quilt, and my son made angel food cake. That was an adventure. He did awesome, but he had to make it a couple times because he couldn't get it right. It's kind of a tricky one. I didn't realize how. I don't bake, so. But he did a great job. We ended up eating, having to eat one darn right. <laughs> but he did a really good job. They both did. It's a lot of work doing all that. But it was kind of nice yesterday. It was one of the first fairs I've ever been to. Um, it was cloudy, where it wasn't just baking hot and you were just miserable the whole time. So that was kind of nice. That really doesn't happen very often. I can put this on here somehow. All right, everybody's here and they've been playing um, VR all day. <laughs> the dance, or not dance, it's like called Beat Saber, and I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, but it plays music and you have to move your arms and like hit different things. I don't really totally know, to be honest with you. I don't play it, but because I get dizzy in that VR thing. But anyway, they were all playing that, having a good time. Just kind of loud. I think my son's doing it again right now, but it's not as loud as it was. You might hear some music or something. He loves doing that, so that's what he does with all his friends. It's actually kind of good because they do get some uh, physical exercise out of it because you get, you know, moving your arms really fast and, um, you know, get hot and sweaty and stuff. So it's actually a good video game if you're going to play video games. I've just been up here working on this all day. It's amazing, you know, you think this will go together really fast once you get the idea, but there's just a lot of steps to everything. <laughs> so 
like, okay, now I have all these pockets, now I have to put something in the pockets. <laughs> That's just funny. Seems simple. It's really not. I like this, um, where this edge is on this. So I was really excited this morning because I um, yesterday I emailed Rachel at Roxy Creations to see if she would be at all interested in being on my design team and I didn't I was very nervous it took me like a week to get up the nerve to do it and she said she would so I'm really excited because both her and Gail have said that they'll do videos and that's just so awesome of them because I know they are both extremely extremely busy amazing ladies super nice if you don't watch um, Rachel at Roxy Creations or Gail Agustinelli, which I'm sure you do because pretty much everybody knows about them, but definitely check them out. And then I have my awesome friends that help me, you know, show my digis and stuff. Ali, Cockney Crafter, and um, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts, and Samantha Jared, and she just started doing videos. I think I mentioned that the other day, and she's doing awesome. She just finished. Um, a video doing using my antique posy digi and she did a great job she did a whole journal and that was awesome of her and it turned out beautiful so thank you guys all of you so much I just can't even tell you how awesome it is put this one over here so I think I'm set for now. I mean, eventually, if you know, I need to, I'll do a call out to find some other people who want to be part of our little journal family. But um, I think right now I'm, I'm good. Wonderful people willing to help. It's awesome. And thank you to all of you who watch and subscribe and go to my Etsy. That's awesome. I never knew I could sell my stuff. I just, it was kind of a whim last year after I'd started doing YouTube videos and I was making things more and more. I used to only make stuff really for gifts. And so I would make whatever for, you know, whoever I needed a gift for. And, um, so things wouldn't stack up or anything but then uh, once I started doing YouTube videos it was kind of like what am I gonna do with all of it and somebody was like well, why don't you sell it it's like I can't sell it nobody's gonna buy it <laughs> and then it was like well I'll open an Etsy shop and if it doesn't work then it's you know no biggie or anything but it's been it's been nice and I really do appreciate it because this is what I love doing. And it's just awesome that there's people out there that get, you know, get your art, <laughs> your thing. Because it is hard at first, definitely, to put yourself out there. And that's also why I say if, if you get a chance, I'll put a link again. I linked everybody last time, um, everybody on my design team, but Rachel wasn't on it at that time, so I'll put hers on there as well. I know a lot of you already watch Gail and Rachel, for sure. It's got a weird, like, extra little flap right there. Alright, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to put it, I know I have this lady that I cut out from, it's actually a knitting magazine, but um, 
I just, I liked the image. I just thought it was neat. And she had some marks on her face and some folds on her head and stuff. I did the other folds just to kind of make it all work together, but I really love the color of the sweater she's wearing. So I wanted to go ahead and use that. And then I was watching um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. I think it was yesterday or maybe the day before, I can't remember. But she did this super simple pocket and so I made one of her pockets. So go check her out for sure because this is her idea, not mine. I'm just trying to figure out how I want this. Um, but all you do is take a piece of paper and you could fold it at any width that you want to and you could even probably cut a strip off here and a strip here and still it would work just fine. But um, you can fold it however you want to get one of these pockets, like a side pocket, or you could even do one up and down like this for a pocket. It's just a really good use of thin paper because I thought it would be even great for like this um, uh, yeah, sewing instruction paper because it's so thin you don't want to just you know like fold it like this and say it's a pocket because it would tear when you're taking stuff in and out of it so by doubling it over like that it gives you a good much firmer pocket you know I mean super simple but what a great idea because it just holds together so much better and won't rip and it, you're not only able to use thicker paper I guess is what I'm trying to say so anyway, that's a great idea. So please go check out Tina because that was great. She comes up with lots of great ideas. She's um, full of them for sure and does some really pretty digis too. So definitely check her out. So I think I'm going to do something like this. I kind of want these little pieces of color in here. Turn that around. I want more of the pink flowers showing, I think. So I think I'm going to put that about there this one here roughly anyway there's just kind of some just plain color right there and that's the part that shows of course you always end up covering up tons of stuff it seems like but um, just kind of the nature of the beast I guess you'd say so let's see is that before I stick it down entirely See that pink flower a little more. So I think right there will be good. Oops. Trying to figure out how I want it. Just a little more this way, I think. Okay, and then this will go here. So I'm going to go ahead and put her down. This I still have some things I'm going to do too, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer that her face had that little spot sort of nicked out of it, but um, I just really loved it. It was one of the better ones in that magazine. And you could tell these these magazines. I was gifted these and um, they were well loved for sure, which is awesome. <clears throat> so I'm basically just lining her up with the bottom and then her elbow so that it's not hanging off, but you know, it's right there at the edge of the card. And her hand was already off like that because of the way the picture was originally. Okay, so then on this, I'm going to do some stitching around it, and I will come back after I do it. I'm going to put this piece of eyelet here, and then do this. And Tina did something like this on hers, too. She put a piece of lace um, down it, and then I'll show you how the pocket part works. But again, all it is is folding in, and you just decide basically how either wide or skinny you want it. And it can take a little playing around, but you can see they're not... It's not an equal fold, like you're not folding it right in the middle because you want like the overlap part. 
So um, think about that when you're playing with it, but super simple idea. I'll be right back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So see, this looks cute, I think, stitched all the way around, and then it's a nice little pocket right there. So thank you, Tina, those are awesome. Super, super good. So um, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of put it on here like this, and then we'll have a little spot where we can tuck things. And you could, if you wanted to, um, you could just glue it. You don't have to stitch it. So I, that's just what I wanted to. I don't think Tina stitched hers, so that's not a big deal. But you could also like put it in and leave one side or the other open as a tuck or even like a belly band, and that would be cute too. Um, but I'm gonna glue mine all the way down for this, just because I've got enough pockets and things already. And I made a tag, a couple of tags to go in there, so I'll show you in just a minute. Let me get it glued down here first. But yeah, she comes up with some just really fun ideas. And I love these, you know, when something's simple like this, it's the bomb. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes it just gets so technical, it's like, never mind, I don't feel like doing one of those right now. So this one's awesome. And you can use, you know, which, whatever glue you want to use. And I'm turning the pocket part this way because that's just the way I want it for the way um, this is oriented. So, but you could definitely do it whichever way you like. So that's there. And then I made um, this pocket just collaged. This was actually a piece of the same magazine that this lady came out of. And so I just folded the paper in half and cut it to the size that I wanted. And then I covered it because it was this glossy white. So I covered it with the um, tissue from the sewing patterns. And then these are just images from out of the sewing pattern instructions. And this is just a little thimble that I found, I think, at the Graphics Fairy is where I got that one. So, and that will just slide in here like this. And then here's one of Tracy Fox's button cards. And instead of like sewing buttons all over it, I just did a few buttons here, but I did this fabric collage and here's some um, sewing pattern instruction. This is a little button ad out of a uh, work basket magazine and then the buttons and this button even has its, some of its original threads still in it. So that can just tuck right in there too. And then we have the big, the big thing here and I just have parts everywhere, but I have done some work. I um, did decoupage that paper. I had that sewing paper design under here, and I decoupaged um, the tissue over the top of it, the sewing tissue. So just to age it, because it was a white background and navy, you know, design on there. So I just wanted to take down the white, and that's a lot easier to do tissue, which is a great tip. If you have, don't do a lot of inking and you don't want to and you just have some stuff that you want it to look a little older, just use sewing tissue paper and that will age it right up. And you can just put it on with a glue stick too. It's just this being as big as it is, I was worried to just do it with a glue stick because I was afraid, you know, there's spots I wouldn't get and whatever. So just wanted to do it like that. I don't love the gloss and this, I have a matte. Um, Mod Podge, but it always kind of looks glossy to me, and I, I don't know. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to glue this on using my tacky glue, because I know that it will stick very well using tacky glue. And I know there's a lot of other uh, glues, Art Glitter Glue and, you know, all that, um, Fabri-Tac. If those are the ones you like, then those are the ones you should use. Because I know we all have our favorites for sure. And this I'm just gluing down instead of stitching because I've already done the front cover. As I've seen that, I just did that the other day. So I want to make sure I'm getting the edges of this really well because it's not going to get stitched at all. We don't want the edges coming up because that's annoying. So this go right on here. It feels weird because it kind of feels like 
faux leather or something. I don't know. I've got to get my head in here a little. Sorry. Okay. I got it. Oops. Sorry. Just gave you an earthquake. And I didn't make it the full length because it wasn't really necessary. But um, it wouldn't hurt to make it the full length. So it's just your own personal preference on that one. Just do that to make sure that edge gets down really well so it's not catching everything. Look at these edges. Sticking up here, a little bit right here. So I'll have to go back and trim that a touch right there, but that's not a problem. I'm going to wait till that glue dries. I always have to get everything a little bit crooked. I can't ever get it straight, it seems. And then we have our pocket that we made together the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. I know I'm using a lot. I just want to make sure that stays because it is going to have that great big tag in and out and I just don't want it to be a problem. So I'm just matching up my corners to make sure that we're not sticking out weird, which we are right here. And I'm getting glue everywhere. But I'll go back and make sure that it's not a problem. We're going to take some clamps do them right along this edge right here because the um, file folder is a little bit warped from coffee staining it and so it has trouble obviously you know reaching every edge I'm gonna put one over here too I have oh no there's one more little one it's like all I have is my big ones left get that straight on there And this got wet from the um, glue, so I'm just going to try to make sure it gets straightened out here. Alright, and I'm going to go in there with, let's see, where's my bone folder? Who knows, because it's such a mess. The problem when I get down these uh, projects, it, um, becomes crazy messy here. I wish I was one of those super organized people that could just <laughs> do all this without making a mess, but I can't. Because I'm not. And I probably never will be. Alright, and then we're going to let that just dry for a minute. <laughs> and then I'll worry about the rest of it. Alright, I did this little... Um, pocket and I did this with an envelope so I used envelopes not too long ago and um, oh it was the last folder thing that I did like this and so I had cut the envelope so this was like the bottom part of the envelope I sealed it already and then put the fabric on it and then I cut a corner off took that corner laid it on the other side and cut it off just like we do with the tags if you make tags where you cut the corner and then flip it over and put the corner on the other side and snip it, it's the same exact idea. First I found the middle, I took the envelope and I just kind of folded it you know, in half and pressed where the middle was. So I started at the middle, cut, cut, and you know, I'm sure it's not perfect, but it looks pretty even, I think. And then, um, so I put the fabric on, fabric on before I did that, and here I am pulling this apart. Um, <laughs> strings. Uh, so it was already that size. Then it, there were holes down here, right? Because I cut the envelope open. So I stitched it just like a pocket would be stitched. And so now it's closed and it's just a little, a little pocket pocket. <laughs> so that's going to go up there. And I made a little journaling card for it, just a fabric cluster and some ads and a piece of the back of one of the 
um, envelopes that hold the, the tissue for the pattern and sewing pattern tissue and this is just covered. I actually folded that ad over the top so it's over there <clears throat> and then it'll go inside of this pocket if you don't get the fabric caught. So and it's going to stick out because obviously it's not cut at the same angle but that's fine. It's just going to go right up there like that. And then we have our envelope that we did together that I started to put the tissue paper on. I put uh, Velcro on it so that it'll stay closed and just did you know, fabric cluster and then this is from um, the Rick Rack package and a piece of the sewing pattern package. And so I haven't done anything else to the inside of that and I will continue to work on that but that's going to go right there. And this is another one of Tina's um, pockets. I folded the paper the same way. I just cut it <coughs> smaller so that I could see it's the same thing. And this one I folded is a little bit wider. So I just folded a little, little bit of this side down. And I cut it with pinking shears on both sides. And the pocket is right here. And I haven't made a <coughs> tag for that one yet. But it'll go right there. So that's how this is laid out. And I just did one of the uh, sewing instruction. Um, there's a picture inside. And that's what I put there. So let's glue these down and I will work on tags and probably some more decorating on the inside of this. But for now, this is where I'm at. I'm going to actually wait on that. I'm going to do these first because that will depend on how we do this. I think I'm going to leave this behind this opened so if someone chooses they can, um, you know, put something in back there just as an option. You won't know if you don't want to do it, it won't matter. So that's going to go kind of centered between this fabric and this lady, sort of. Go right there. It's kind of like a little uh, wallet or something because it velcros closed. It's kind of fun. And then uh, fabric cluster, rick rack, and just seam binding lace there. This one I'm just going to glue down all the way. But see, these are great because you can do them any size that you want. And it makes a great little pocket. Again, was Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And this one I'm going to glue all the way down to. Oops, I'll glue down the whole thing, huh? It's always a trick to figure out how to get a hold of it so that you can glue it without gluing your fingers or something. Alright, so I think that's down. I'm going to hold this and see if I can pull. Yeah, I can still get that one out. Corners want to come up because again, we're talking about a not perfectly flat file folder. Let's steal these off of here now, put them over here. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, so I think that's good. I think I can put my pocket in here now. I just love this. I love that, Tina. Those are fun. Super fun. And I know that this fabric on this is going to get kind of wrinkled, but I think it'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and take them out for now just so this can get dry all the way. That edge doesn't want to stay down. I'm 
make sure it dries all the way before I mess it up. All right, so that's what we got going on so far. So we have our front cover that'll tie right here. And then um, there's a pocket in here that I haven't made a card for yet, but I will do that. And then this is the inside, and then we'll start working on the journal that's gonna go inside of there probably next time. So I'll probably go ahead and finish up by making a journaling card there and then a card for here. We still gotta finish the inside of this. So yeah, I don't know exactly how much I'll get done, but um, I'll be back. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. And um, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and we'll chat later. Bye-bye now.